Okay guys, so you guys used your educator a lot yesterday, okay? And I've got, I'm gonna get you the login to watch all the videos on my website, because there's a lot, of, a lot of great drills and you might like doing a couple of them. Um, now, ball striking setup. What did we do with this thing? Was it at 12 o'clock or one o'clock? Is that one o'clock, okay? Well, when it's at one o'clock, watch what it allows us to do. It allows us the, the shaft to go, the club to lag a bit as the left wrist flattens. Can you see that? Do you want that in a bunker shot? You don't because the leading edge plows too much sand. So if that's at one o'clock, if I take this educator now and go to 12, I'm gonna put it over here at 11. So it's, you know, to the, the top of the grips, 12 obviously. And you know, going around the horn, then I get to 11. So now the educator, from your visual perspective, if the grooves are vertical, it's angled a little off to the left. So now what does that do? It forces me to learn how to have some hinge of the golf club and let the balance land in the sand so that I don't plow too much sand. So now when I grip this thing, what do you notice about the face? Okay, you call a little open, whatever. But it really, so if I'm hitting a few bunker shots here, and this isn't, you know, you've got some good wisdom from Jimmy, it's awesome. We, you know, getting the good hands on here, this ball's forward in my wide stance. Now what a lot of people do is they'll shut this face down and create a very diggy club face. But what we're looking to do is maintain loft. So now this, you know, there's the ball. I could put a T underneath that because we do want to breach the sand, break a T. And there's a nice little softy where the sand was breached. But the, the critical thing is, is really kind of understanding how don't take the loft off the golf club by awkwardly twisting the hands. You tracking what I'm saying, guys? Okay, so um, you've, let's, you just sat down. Come on up there, Tim. You're good. Yeah. Okay. So let me see the golf club. Yeah. So so this is in a ball striker. But this is in an extreme forward lean position to really thump and compress when you're tracking. We don't want that in a bunker because this leading edge is going to plow a ton of sand. We want to present and let the bounce do its job to try to get out of the sand. Okay. So we're going to take the educator, loosen it a bit. You know, recognize what 12 is, parallel to the grooves, twist it over here to 11. Okay, and this will feel really weird for you. Okay, because now when you have that, you know, butted up against the inside of your forearm, now this golf club, when I move it and I allow it to have some verticals, guys, see how the loft's staying on the face? I haven't twisted the loft off. Okay, and that's, so that's a big deal. So do me a favor, go ahead and grip it. Okay. And take, your, take that watch off so it doesn't kind of muddle up the feel of this. Okay, cool. So the face feels different now, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, and now make some swings where you let this educator start to glide, a, a, you know, on the inside of your forearm. Give me a couple swings. Awesome. And then splash the sand for me a couple times. Good, awesome, good. Now let's see if I have a T. You got a T in your pocket by chance? Yes. Thank you. So just so we have a reference, guys, when we're hitting these shots, here's a teed up golf ball. Okay, but the T's 100% in the sand. So let's breach the sand, hit the middle of the T, give or take. Nice forward ball location, that looks fantastic. Breach the sand, disrupt the T. Now you got a penalty now because you just you just touched the sand, so you got to stay off the sand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. So now that's a nice bunker shot. Now what do we just have to do? Learn how to do it a little more gently. You see where I'm going with this, guys? Okay. So come on up there, Corey. Good job. Great Thank shot. You. Let me check your bunker shot positioning. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to see this, I'm going to tighten that down so that you don't lose it, right? So yours is almost at 12, so we're just going to go a little bit more toward 11. Give it a crank, okay? And then you're going to feel what that's like, how differently that feels against your forearm as you set it up. And don't be afraid of creating a bit of a lateral, I mean, sorry, a vertical feeling in the backswing. 
You see how that loft's staying very much on there? Yep. Good. There's no T under there, but imagine you're breaking a T. Breach the sand, break a T. Lovely softy, right? Now, what did you need? Maybe a bit more swing. Bit more. But did you hear how that club went? That's not, a, that's not a trench digger, is it, guys? You get my point? Okay, anybody else want to try this? You, come on up, Jeff. Okay, let me get you set, see how you're doing. So you got it, you know, yeah, there you go. Cool, nice and cranked. And so you're getting the verticals and keeping loft on this thing. So when it presents, it's not gonna be too diggy, okay? So ball forward in your wide stance. Give me a couple of practice swings so you have some verticals. There you go. Good. Take a look where you're going. Displace a bit of sand, let the ball respond from the sand displacement. Pretty nice, right? That's, that's a lot easier Isn't, than it used to be. You see what I mean? Yeah. Because he had too diggy a phase, too much trenchy. And now, with, with the club touches the sand the right way, the club wants to respond and you can get pretty good at this. Anybody else want to give it a try or you figure you've got to figure it out? How many hours a week do you guys practice your bunker shots? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you, has anybody practiced for a year? Like literally 2,000 hours? I have. When I look at it, I have. Over the course of a week, a tour pro, 20, 30 minutes a day, that, that adds up to a couple hours a week, I imagine. So. Yeah. So see how we got verticals? Mm -hmm. Right? So in your backswing, that's keeping loft on. That's going to land, splash, right? You're trying to breach here, exit here. Go for it. Balls forward in a wide, flary stance. You look great. Whoa. Okay. All right, so you got, so here's the thing. If he used a tee, he would have realized he got a little neck on there. So he had a bit more ball speed, guys, because the hosel got a bit of the ball there. Are you with me? And so that's why using a tee sometimes, you'll know, hey, my, the place that I displaced was too far away from where it should have been. Aiming that way too. It's okay. Let's aim just a bit more. Ball forward. Great. Pretty nice, right? Better. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. So, guys, when you're using this guy, you know, we put it, you know, to have a face more open, you know, we put it at 11 o'clock. Okay. And then with that hinge, so my normal wedge shot would be over here. Now, here's an interesting thing. Say it was, say it's this ball that I stepped on. What do I have to do? Or, the, or there's a beauty, you can't even see it, this one here. Now watch, I can grip it to the right side of 11 o'clock. What does that do to the face, guys? Crazy hooded, right? So the, where's my face pointed? Which way is it pointed, Wendell? Way left? So watch where this ball goes, guys. Okay, did it go left? It should go a little straighter than that, actually. Let me do it again. So why doesn't it go left when the face is massively hooded? And why do I need to hood it if the ball's pushed way down in the sand? I need to get more sand, and I need to get underneath the south pole of the sand somehow. So the only way to do it without just hellacious swing is instead of the conventional way to have the sand, the bounce be our friend, you know, with 11 o'clock, we just put it on 11 o'clock and grip it the other side, way dead shut. But now that thing wants to do what? Wants to dig. And then so what happens is, you guys that struggled in bunkers often look like this. You know, if I'm face onto the camera, we always see this, this guy in the bunker. You know what I mean? Like handle way forward, body back, diggy. Does that resemble you a little bit, Dale? Not me, why are you looking at me, right? Okay. And so now we put it at 11 o'clock. Now the club head can be forward. We can have the verticals, guys, that we need for a bit of speed. Okay, so the, the shaft's back, the face, you know, you call the face open. I just call it adjusted to square. And now we can have that nice little displacement for getting used to being a pretty good bunker player. Sound good? Yeah. Cool? Good. You guys ready to go get a beer? Let's go get a beer. So, Martin? Yes. Yes. So, 
they are they're going to get an invite to watch all the videos. Okay. Yeah. My customer service person will create a, hey, way to go. You got an educator. You can watch okay, all the videos. Perfect.